The Tennessee Titans at 9-2 and two just holding serve. Do they have another chance at front-running Jacksonville in the AFC Central? The Baltimore Ravens, good defense, but just not making it happen even though they're at home. So Tennessee going into Baltimore, this was going to be one of the easy ones on the day. That's why they play the game. Here we go from PSI Net Stadium, a.k.a. the Big Crab Kick. Tony Bank, the Patrick Johnson, makes a readjust against two defenders, and even though... He leaves the game with a calf injury, and he scores on one leg. 76 yards, the Ravens, quote, a 7-3 lead. Can you imagine during Hanukkah, Priest Holmes is going to have a 100-yard day? Light the candles for the Priest. What a great run. What? And then he drags Titan inside the 10. A 72-yard run, the longest of his career. Sets up a field goal, 17-14, Ravens at the half. And Tommy... Well, how do you stop Tennessee? Watch, watch Cornell Brown at the bottom of the screen. A great job of containing Steve McNair. It's a great athlete. Here he tries to escape up the middle through the pocket. And Ray Lewis, one of the best middle linebackers in this game, bringing him down. Solid shot. Next play, the Titans going forward on fourth and three. Watch Kim Herring and Chris McAllister double cover Chris Sanders. No chance. The Ravens have held on downs and they would capitalize. Tony Banks looking as good as well. Frankly, he ever has. Steps up, 39-yard touchdown. Boy, he stepped up and felt the pressure of Kenny Holmes at 34-14. The touchdown to Jermaine Lewis. Four touchdown passes, career high. And then a bit of history. Rod Woodson could go all the way for the ninth time in his career with an interception for a touchdown. Tying Ken Houston for number one all-time in the NFL. The Ravens just lambasted. The Tennessee Titans, 41 to 14, and Tom, as we look at numbers in this game, and certainly not very impressive for Eddie George, 